All right, let's go ahead and get started because I do want to be cognizant of your time. As I said before, my name is Callie Wright. I'm going to be leading you through this training. You guys should all have that chat box opened up. So down at the bottom of your screen, you should see a black bar and chat should be one of the buttons that you can push that will open up the group chat to the right hand side for you to be able to ask questions as you have them um, during today's session. So today we are going through that scheduled videos feature. So that's going to be what we're going to focus on today. So I'm going to kind of show you a couple of slides and then we're going to actually hop into LiveShare Admin and we're going to walk through exactly how to use this feature just so that we make sure that you understand and you're good to go to use it yourself. So the feature itself. This feature, the scheduled video feature, allows you to schedule videos to play automatically on your TVs that the share box is connected to at a specific time on a specific day. The slideshow will pause where it is, disappear off screen, the video will begin to play, and then the slideshow will resume whenever the video um, completes its playtime. So, that being said, make sure that you keep in mind however long your video is, that's how long your slideshow is not going to be showing on that TV. Now, this is a separate channel from the pictures and videos channel, which only plays in the slideshow and on demand. So what I'm talking about, I'm gonna go into LiveShare Admin. So this should be the user homepage that you guys See that will be similar. It'll of course say your communities here in the center. So now to remember to manage your content for your communities, you're going to click into the community that you want to add that content to. Now I want you to keep in mind if you decide to do the scheduled, vid scheduled video feature at the campus level, it's going to make that video play at that certain time on that certain day across your entire campus or you can schedule it to specific carry units or however you have your devices set up. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna click into the assisted living unit. Remember that left-hand side changes to tell me I am looking at the content for the assisted living. When you scroll down, you see that pictures and videos channel that you are familiar with. This is the, the traditional way that you add pictures and videos. Remember, in this channel, it's either going to show in the slideshow rotation or it's going to show on demand. When you exit the slideshow, you'll physically have to bring it up. The feature that we're talking about today is if you scroll even further down, right down below where it says therapeutic music, there's one that says scheduled videos and it's got a little camera icon, like a video camera icon. When you click into that channel, it's going to look something like this. Remember, this specific feature is to schedule a video to play at a certain time on a certain day. So to begin, to schedule that, you're gonna click that blue new video button. It's going to give you a host of different options to fill in. So depending on the type of video it is, you're going to name it. Okay, so let's say I want to schedule a video that is of the national parks and specifically Yellowstone. Okay, I'm gonna pick the date I want it to play. Let's say I want it to play on Sunday the 21st, and I want it to actually begin at two o'clock p.m. So I can set that in here. The thing to make sure is if you're scheduling a video for like, if you're scheduling it right now and you want it to play later on today, you do have to choose a time that is 10 minutes from when you're scheduling it, just to give the video time to load and make sure everything is okay. You can schedule a repeat for this feature. So maybe you want the same video showing at the same time on the same days on like a repeat. So let's say like maybe every Monday you want a marketing video to begin at nine o'clock because you have tours coming through the building. You can set, set that repeat. Remember if it's something that's gonna be bi-weekly, choose the weekly option and then change the second one to say every two weeks and that will change it to a bi-weekly. 
For this purpose, though, I'm just going to choose one time because I only want this Yellowstone video to show one time. Now, where you upload the video is the second section. It says either upload video or upload YouTube video. If you choose the upload video, you're going to click on this and it will pull up your browser for you to choose something from the files on your physical computer. One thing you want to keep in mind is you want to keep it under 100 megabytes. If you have a video you'd like to add and use this feature for, but it's not under 100 megabytes, reach out to our support team and we'll be happy to help assist you and make sure that we get that video into your, um, into your program. So LS support at spectrio.com. That is our email address. The support is 317-825-0320 extension one if you need help with videos at all. Now the other option is to upload a YouTube video. When you click this option, it allows you to paste the link in here. Please note that it must be a YouTube link. You cannot use a link from some other platform. So to do this, let me pull up my National Geographic. I already found my Yellowstone video that I want to utilize. I'm going to click on it. Up at the very top of the browser, you're going to click in there where the address is. You're going to copy it. Come back to LifeShare Admin and you're going to paste that YouTube link. A couple of things with YouTube, you do want to make sure it's free from music violations and free from copyright issues. So when you go to the video in YouTube and you scroll down, see where it says show more, you'll want to click it down and just make sure that there are not any music in this video um, type indications like this one looks like it's good to go. If you think it's good, you're going to click add and it's going to load it in there. Make sure everything looks good. You do want it to be enabled so it will begin playing at the time that you've scheduled. If you decide after you've already scheduled it that you want it to play on other areas, click the add more and then check the other areas of campus you would like it to play on. If you currently have an in-house channel, this is a great feature for you to be able to utilize this because it will play over your in-house channel um, through our LifeShare device at that time that it has been scheduled. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So now when I scroll over to the 21st, you're going to see that that specific video has been scheduled for 2 o'clock on Sunday the 21st. So if I have someone in my community at the front desk, they're going to want to make sure that that TV is on and tuned to the LifeShare channel, the correct HDMI, so that it's showing the slideshow. And at that time, 2 o'clock, it will begin playing on my TV screen. Now, if you remember from your onboarding trainings, the device does check in every two minutes for information. So if you have scheduled it for two o'clock, make sure that you have leave at least like two minutes for it to begin playing, um, just because it, it may be in the middle of its check-in cycle. So it can take up to two minutes to begin. So it might be up to 2.02 when it actually begins the video. So just keep that in mind. Any questions on what I have shown you so far or how to physically schedule these videos? If so, pop those in the chat box for me so that I can make sure that I answer those questions for you. While I'm looking to see if you guys have any questions, I am going to go back to my slideshow. I'm going to show you the how to. Remember, you're going to click into your community. You're going to click that scheduled videos channel, click new video, add the information, add the information that you are wanting to schedule, and then make sure that you have it at least 10 minutes in advance of the current time. Remember, you can either upload your own video or use other YouTube videos. So Heather, I saw your note. Um, that's something that you're going to have to work with our technical team about. It may be the video that you're trying to utilize. So that can be something perfect. I haven't heard of anybody else having any trouble with videos. So that's something that I'll check back in and follow up with our technical team um, to see if they have any solutions for you. So Heather, I'm writing that down to check in about Timbercrest.
Perfect. Chris says, is there any way to show other videos other than YouTube? So this is a question that we've gotten. So if you can, depending on the platform, so sometimes you can actually download videos from YouTube, and sometimes that can happen on other places, like if you have them on Vimeo or things like that. If you're able to download the file, then you can upload it in that section that says upload video. So that's how you can do that if you want to do another one besides the YouTube. If you're not able to download the physical video um, and you're not able to get your hands on the actual file of it, unfortunately, there's not a way for us to load it in um, to our system. Great question, though, Krista. Other questions? All right, we'll keep going. Some other best practice items that I like to go through, make sure if it's your own video, um, it can be 100 megabytes or less. YouTube links, make sure it doesn't have any music, music or copyright violations. And remember, it must be flagged as public, not private. It doesn't have to even be listed, it just needs to be public. And then make sure your TV's on, turn to the correct HDMI input, and allow for about two minutes delay for that scheduled video to begin. Perfect. Maggie's asking how long can videos be. Um, I have had someone report that they put on a three-hour relaxation video, and it played that entire three hours. Um, so there's not really a cap as long as it's a YouTube video um, because if it's your own video, obviously, if it's going to be like a longer amount of time, it's going to be a larger file size. But with YouTube, we stream the videos, so there's not really a time limit on that. Great question. Any other questions that I can help answer? So some use cases might be that it may be a way for you to offer an alternative activity option. So I know with COVID, a lot of communities are having to restrict the number of residents that can attend an activity. So this can be a way for you to offer an alternative option to another activity that you have going on. It can also be a solution for the days that you're low on staff but still want to deliver activities. It's a way to provide additional educational opportunities, give access to church services, or even cater to some of your early risers that are up and at them and ready to go for the day before staff arrive to the community. So I was talking with an activity director the other day that she's been utilizing this feature to put on chair yoga for one of their early risers that likes to kind of do some exercise in the morning. So they put on a chair yoga video. It starts at a certain time and that particular resident goes out to that common area and does the yoga in the morning. Anybody else have any other ways that they are currently utilizing this feature or would like to utilize this feature? We'd love to hear about that in our chat box. And as you begin utilizing this feature, please let us know if you do run into any issues. Like I said, reach out to that tech support team and Heather, I will follow up with them um, about your community and see if they have um, found out anything. Um, but they are there to help and assist you. So if you have any questions, please make sure you don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, in LiveShare Admin, down at the bottom of your screen, there's a blue circle with an envelope. If you click on that, it actually gives our support information. You can even physically type in this text box, and it will send an email to our support team. So that is pretty much all that I was going to go through with you guys today. I'll give you about 14 minutes back to your day. I know that you will use them wisely. I do want to remind you that we do have a month.
We will remind you in the newsletter that we send out, as well as we send a, a separate reminder email the week that we have the webinar. So each month we have a different topic, and next month is adding a custom slide to the announcement channel. This is another newer feature that we have recently put out, so we'll be going through what that means and how you do that, and the implications that it has for your mobile app as well as your slideshow. So we'll be doing that on Wednesday, March 10th at 4 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to mark your calendars and you're interested in that, make sure you RSVP and we will send the link over to you. As always, if you need help, I'm going to leave this up on the screen for you guys to write down if you need. Um, our support team is here to assist you, and we thank you so much for taking time out of your day to learn more about the Life Share system with us. If there are other um, topics that you would like to hear about in the future or for future monthly webinars, please make sure you pop those in the chat box for me. We love to cater our training sessions to things that are interesting and that you guys will implement in your community. So pop those ideas in there if you have them. Thank you so much, Teresa. I appreciate you. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Krista. Thanks for coming, Maggie and Corey. Um, we will be in touch with a follow-up email after we get off the webinar today where I'll share this presentation that I have shared with you as well as we'll give you the link to be able to watch the recap video if you would like or if you'd like to share it with someone else in your community. So I thank you so much for taking time out of your day and I hope you have a great rest of your day.